so many agents out there and with so many of them claiming to be the best, number one at what they do, saying that they're number one because their mom says so, how do you know who's really qualified and who's not to maximize the sale price of your home? The truth may surprise you and could be as simple as asking the right questions. Hi, I'm Frank Polsonello with the Polsonello team at Remax, and today I'd like to talk to you about the questions you should ask any real estate agent you're considering to sell your home. The first thing you want to find out is what kind of experience they have, because really the best predictor of future performance is past results, right? This also begs the question, do you work as a realtor full time? If the answer is no, you may want to consider ending the interview right there. Now, you want to make sure that the agent or agents that you are interviewing have a proven track record at getting homes sold. And that experience is really going to come in the number of homes they're selling and not how long necessarily they've been doing this for. There is no way for you to gain the experience required to negotiate at this level with an asset this valuable by selling only a few homes a year. So don't be fooled by the agent that says, I've been doing this 20 years or 30 years or 40 years. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're producing at a high level. Think about this. The average realtor in the GTA sells less than four homes a year. Multiplied by 30 years is 120 homes over that entire career span. We sell hundreds and hundreds of homes each year. Now, you have to think about this. Who do I want negotiating for me? Somebody who sells only a few homes a year or somebody who is selling hundreds of homes a year? I'm also shocked by the fact that almost 30% of the Toronto Real Estate Board membership, the largest real estate board in the world, sold zero homes last year. What you want is a realtor with relevant experience and you want them selling lots of homes in this market. The best question you should ask them is, do you consider yourself a world-class negotiator? If they say no, then again, you might want to consider ending the interview right then. Financially, there's just too much on the line. If they say yes, then ask them to tell you why. Within 20 seconds, you'll know if they're qualified to negotiate your million or multi-million dollar home sale or purchase. We make sure that our clients take every advantage possible so their home sells for the highest price and they don't ever have to wonder if they've left any money on the table. The next thing you want to find out is what their support staff looks like. Are they a one-man show? A realtor has a lot of tasks to, to juggle. There's a lot and what you don't want happening is that they drop the ball. There's a lot of moving parts and it's almost impossible for a one-man show to do everything that needs to be done to ensure that your home is sold safe, fast, and for the maximum value the market will bear. They can easily drop the ball when they're juggling all of those things when it comes to the sale of your home. Believe me, I used to be one of those realtors and it's not easy, but luckily over the years, I've been able to build out our team where we have a staff of people that have specialized roles from photographers to couriers to listing coordinators to stagers. And at the end of the day, you wanna make sure that your home, your investment, where there's a lot of money riding on the line is treated with the care and attention it deserves. A lot of stress can come when it's not handled properly and you want to make sure that you hire an agent that have a staff behind them that can manage the process from start to finish so it all goes as smoothly as possible for you. If you're considering a home sale and you want to ensure that you're leveraging the best strategies to maximize your home's value, I invite you to reach out to me, Frank Polsonello at polsonello.ca or call me at 905-830-9111.